Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Shanika and today I'm going to be guiding you through a short yin sequence for your psoas and hip flexors. So this is going to be a very relaxing class. All of the postures are going to be supine. So we will be laying on our back for the majority of the class, actually for the whole class. Um, you will need two blocks. And I know sometimes I forget to mention this, but if you do enjoy my content, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. It does help with the longevity of my channel. And of course, I always appreciate it. So we'll go ahead and get started laying down on our backs and grabbing your block. Laying all the way down onto your back. I'm gonna use my higher block for this one. Go ahead with your knees bent, push into your feet and pick up your hips. Place the block underneath your sacrum. So your sacrum is that flat piece of bone. You'll know that it's there, it should feel comfortable. You don't want the block digging into your low back where your bum and your hips are hanging off of the block. Let's go ahead and find your sacrum. And once you have it nice and settled, extend your right leg straight down onto the mat and bend the left knee in towards the chest. Taking your hands, you can wrap your hands around your left knee. Just taking nice deep breaths here. And of course, if this is too much with the block, you can do the exact same posture without the block. On every inhale, really thinking about filling up with breath. And on the exhale, thinking about drawing the knee closer to the chest. Coming into our last few breaths here before we transition. Take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale. And exhale, side out. One more inhale. And gently exhale. 
So from here, this is where you're going to want to grab your second block. So go ahead and release the grip and bring the left foot and plant it onto the mat. You're going to take your right ankle and bring it behind the left. So now your right knee is dropping open to the side. If this is too much on your low back, you can place the block and place it underneath your left foot. You can bring your arms up beside you. And rest it on your belly. Nice deep breaths. This is also a similar posture to cat pulling tail. But um, on days when I'm feeling, I guess, a little bit more lazier than others, and you know, days when you don't really want to grab for your foot, I find this quite relaxing. our last few breaths here. Last two breaths, nice big inhale. Open the mouth and side out. One more inhale. And exhale. Gently remove the right foot from behind the left and bring the left foot off of the block and just move the block over to the right side. Just take a few moments here. Let's go ahead and do the other side. So extend the left leg straight this time and bend the right knee in towards the chest. Interlacing your hands on the right knee. Inhale here. And every exhale looking to draw in.
feeling the small areas of opening that are happening for you. last few breaths. Take our last two breaths. Nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. So let's go ahead and gently release the grip on that right knee. Find your block, and just place your foot on the block. You're then going to take the left ankle and bring it behind the right, allowing the left knee to drop towards the mat. You can keep your hands on your belly or bring your hands by your side. Last few breaths on this side.
Take our last two breaths here. Nice big inhale, fill up. Open the mouth and let it go. One more inhale. And sigh it out. Gently remove the ankle from behind the right. Move the block off to the side. Extend both legs this time straight down and reach your arms up overhead. Just taking a nice long body stretch. Reach, 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 reach. Maybe you shimmy your hips from side to side. And let's go ahead and bend the knees once more. Push into your feet. Remove the block and set your hips back down. Go ahead and just move the block off to the side and just windshield wiper your knees from side to side. We will take a gentle twist from here. So drawing both knees in towards your chest. You can cactus your arms. Drop both knees over to the right. Gaze to the left. Feel really nice on the low back. Last few breaths here. Take our last two breaths, a nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Again, inhale. And gently exhale. Gently draw the knees back in towards the chest. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So go ahead, drop both knees to the left and gaze to the right.
the last few breaths here. Our last two breaths, a nice big inhale. Open the mouth and sigh it out. One more inhale. And exhale. Go ahead and draw your knees back in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug. You could rock from side to side. Massage the low back. Let's go ahead and lift up. Wrap your arms around your knees. Squeeze into a nice tight ball. You can also grab onto your heels for three, two, And one, gently release. Extend the legs out wide, arms out wide for your Shavasana. You also have the option to bring your soles, the soles of your feet to touch. So feeling free to stay here for as long as you like. I hope you enjoyed today's practice and I will see you back here again soon. Have a wonderful rest of your day.